Hey guys, what's good? How are you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we will be featuring the top five pro loadouts that you should be using in Warzone 2 right now. People are still rocking the RPK in Warzone. It is a really good gun, but there are still some heavy hitters that people are sleeping on. So make sure you watch the whole thing. There's probably a loadout or two in here that will surprise you. All right, guys. So before we get to today's video, if you want to show me some support, be sure to hit that like button. If you have not done so yet, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. Friendly reminder, I do stream over on Twitch weekly. So if you ever want to catch me live go over there hit the follow button the link should be down in the description below all right guys so with that out of the way let's get into these loadouts okay guys so before we go over the five loadouts real quick i thought i would talk about the tactical lethal and perk package don't pay attention to these two primaries this is some random loadout i don't use so in terms of the tactical i highly suggest using smoke grenades uh, from a lot of other streamers that i've watched they use smoke grenades as well they really help you get out of fights if you're in a pinch especially because you can't run in plate it's harder to get out of way with the slower movement smoke grenades help out a ton with trying to reposition reposition yourself or just get out of gunfights in general in terms of the lethal drill charge that's what i really like using a few other players i watch use drill charge you can also use a semtex or a throwing knife but with drill charges a lot of players i run into especially if you have a bounty they they will just sit in a building or sit on a roof drill charges really help them get out of that position because they can go through walls you can really screw them over if they're camping now in terms of the perk package i very highly suggest using the recon perk package almost every pro player is using this thing now the ultimate perk bird's eye uav and radar pings reveal the enemy's direction it basically gives you a uav the entirety of the match so you you will constantly be running around seeing a, a, a radar sweep and players will just be pinging on your map it's pretty it's pretty broken i'm surprised this perk is actually in the game so yeah definitely highly suggest running recon okay guys so on to loadout number five this is a very solid one to use i really it's probably one of my second or third favorite guns to use in the game right now and that is the tac v and you compare it with the mp5 so in terms of how the TAC V is being set up, we're rocking the Boar 490 muzzle. We are tuning it for recoil stabilization and gun kick control. In terms of the underbarrel commando foregrip, or you can run the F TAC Ripper 56. I am tuning this for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. Ammunition, obviously we're gonna be rocking the high velocity rounds. These are tuned for damage range and recoil steadiness. And a uh, fun fact, tuning for bullet velocity really does not affect the actual bullet velocity that much so it's way more worth it to tune for recoil steadiness we're running the 50 the 50 round drum mag and then for the optic it's more the optic is more so up to you what you prefer using but the general um player base uses the aim opv4 and this is tuned for ads speed and then all the way to far positioning if you find the gun kick a little too much you can change the positioning all the way to close now we're pairing this with the mp5 this is definitely my favorite smg to use in the game right now i know technically the fennec it can be a little bit better up close but i'm that's getting stale it's been meta since the game released so for this mp5 setup we are rocking the ftac m sub 12 inch barrel this is recoil steadiness and ads speed we're rocking the VLK LZR 7MW laser, stockless mod, rear grip. We're rocking the Lockman TCG 10. This is tuned for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. And then the 40 round mag like this. Like I said, this SMG, it's freaking nasty. My favorite one in the game for sure right now. Guys, so moving on to loadout number four. This is for those of you who want to snipe. I know sniping is kind of ass in the game right now. You can't really one headshot down someone. But uh, Iceman Isaac, I found this uh, class setup from him and watching his gameplay, it's pretty nasty. I used it myself and this gun is a lot of fun to use. It's basically turning the sniper into more of like a DMR type weapon. So we're rocking the, this is uh, the Signal 50 starting off and we are rocking the NI, I don't even know how to pronounce this, the Nil Sound 90 silencer. This is tuned for ADS speed and aiming aisle stability. We're rocking 50 cal high velocity ammunition tuned for recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness. The FSSOLEV laser the for the optic, the Forge Tac Delta 4, and this is tuned for flinch resistance and then all the way to far. And then the rear grip is the SA finesse grip, and this is tuned for ADS speed and aiming idle speed stability stability i can't talk now we are pairing this with the cast off 74u especially because this is a sniper you definitely want something as your secondary that can be 
really good at uh, close range and still really good at medium range. So the 74U is obviously the go-to for that. We're tuning this with the Gauge 9 Mono. We're tuning it for ADS speed and bullet velocity. Their laser, their Schlager Peck Box, probably pronouncing this terribly wrong for laser. Optic, we got the Slime Line Pro, just simple ADS, um, red dot sight optic we're tuning it for ads speed and uh all the way to far and then stockless mod and then the 45 round mag all right guys so moving on to loadout number three this is a gem in the rough in my opinion no one ever talks about the m4 in warzone 2 right now but i was watching swag play with it a couple weeks ago and he was frying so i decided to put it on made a few adjustments and it's really good i don't know why more people aren't using it so the class setup I got for it is the Gauge 9 Mono Muzzle, uh, tuned for recoil smoothness and bullet velocity. The High Tower 20 inch barrel, this is tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range. The FTAC Ripper 56 under barrel, this is tuned for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. 60 round mag, and then the AIM OP V4 optic. I didn't really tune the top one. Probably you could either, if you think an ADS is too slow, tune it for ADS speed. If not, go flinch resistance. And then I have it all the way for close. And with the M4, we're going to pair this with the Vaznev SMG. This is one of my favorite SMGs to use in the game. It's my favorite ground loot SMG to use in the game for sure. So we're tuning this with the KS KAS1381 millimeter barrel. We're tuning this for recoil steadiness and ADS speed. The FFS FSS OLEV laser, the stockless stock, rear grip demo x2 grip we're tuning this for ads speed and sprint to fire speed and then the 45 round mag this this smg is nasty movement speed is really good it's just on par with the mp5 in my opinion maybe the vasnev has a little bit better uh damage at medium range but yeah all around great smg to use guys so moving in on loadout number two this is going to be the tac 56 and we are pairing it up with the mp5 again uh you can pair it up with a different smg but in my opinion, there's only three SMGs worth using right now. The other ones are kind of doo-doo compared to the, the, the three that I mentioned in today's video. So with the TAC-56, we're uh, rocking the Gauge 9 Mono. This is tuned for recoil smoothness and aiming idle stability. We're rocking the F-TAC Ripper 56 Underbarrel. This is aiming idle stability and recoil stabilization. High, vo high velocity ammunition, tuned for recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness. 60 round drum 60 round mag no drum in there <laughs> and then the aim op4 optic tuned for flinch resistance and then all the way to close the mp5 build same one i went over earlier so i'll just show it up on the screen right here real quick but i did talk about it earlier all right guys so moving on to loadout number one this is the most popular loadout probably in warzone 2 ever since the game released and this is the rpk with the fennec these guns Definitely have the fastest TTK out of any of the guns in the game, except the Fennec. I think if you hit your shots with the other SMGs I mentioned, you can do perfectly well with those other SMGs. The RPK definitely just has a little bit of an advantage over every other gun. It shoots pave low bullets, and I'm so shocked they haven't nerfed this thing yet. But in terms of how the RPK is set up, we're rocking the Zulu 60 muzzle. This is tuned for recoil smoothness and aiming idle stability. The Underbarrel FTAC Ripper 56, tuned for ADS speed and aiming idle stability. Uh, ammunition High Velocity, tuned for recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness. The Schlager Peck Box 4 Laser, and then AIM OP4 V4 Optic, tuned for uh, flinch resistance and close. And finally, for the Fennec class setup, this is, we're rocking the Forge Tac Ninja Barrel. This is tuned for recoil steadiness and ADS speed. The v for the laser, we're rocking the VLK LZR laser for stock FTAC stock cap, and then rear grip the Fennec stipled grip. This is tuned for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, and then the 45 round magazine. This is definitely the fastest killing SMG up close in the game right now. Surprised it hasn't gotten nerfed yet. But all around, I think if you hit your shots, the MP5 or the Vaznev can be just as good. All right, guys. Well, those are the top five loadouts that most pro players and streamers are rocking in Warzone 2 right now. Definitely let me know your thoughts, opinions on these guns down below in the comments. Which ones do you think are the best guns to be using? Do you think that the TAC V is better than the RPK? Do you think the TAC 56 is better than the TAC V? Remember, if you did enjoy the video, found it helpful whatsoever, hit that like button. If you have not done so yet, smash that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember, stay blessed, not stressed out there. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.